What is up you guys, it's your boy SRX Jess and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I recently did a ton of shopping, so I figured in today's video I kind of just like sit down and just kind of like go through all the stuff that I recently picked up. There's gonna be a ton of things in today's video. We got like some tops, um, we got some shoes over there and just a bunch of like other accessories and other bits that I know you guys are really gonna like. It's definitely gonna be a long video, so sit back, get cozy and let's get into it. Before we hop into the pieces, I wanna thank Shop Tiger for sponsoring today's video. Shop Tiger is essentially like an online app that allows you to save items, create wish lists, and Shop Tiger will notify you if and when that particular item ever goes on sale. It's super easy to use and it's free. All you guys have to do is just like sign up for Shop Tiger and then download like this little web browser extension. And when you guys are shopping on your favorite websites like Uniqlo, ASO, Zara, you can save items directly to your Shop Tiger wish list and you guys can even categorize them by like color, size, etc. Overall, Shop Tiger is just like such a great online tool. I'm the type of person I'm all about getting the most bang for my buck and I've bought so much things on sale with the help of their online website and they even have a mobile app which makes things like that much more convenient. So I'll be sure to leave links to everything mentioned and worn in today's video in the description box below so be sure to check that out. Alright so first up is definitely like one of my favorites. I haven't been to H&M all that much lately so one day when I was like at the mall I decided to kind of pop in and see if they had any good stuff and I found this kind of like overshirt type of jacket. I really like this jacket in particular because it reminds me a lot of something you would see like from the Yeezy collection. And surprisingly for H&M, the quality is there. It's just kind of one of those simple pieces that I know I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of. And it wasn't too bad in terms of pricing. I believe it was around like 50 to $60, which seems pretty fair to me. So this next one is something I've been wearing nonstop lately. And it's just these trousers from Uniqlo. It's just a simple pair of chinos, but at Uniqlo, they offer free alterations. So I kind of gave it like a really nice cropped fit. I just really like the color of these pants in particular because it pairs well with pretty much anything. The actual pair of pants itself was super affordable. And again, it's just kind of one of those things that I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of for years to come. So coming in at number two are those Uniqlo trousers. This shoe right here has made a strong comeback this year, especially with like the whole dad trend going on. These Nike Air Monarchs have probably been one of my favorite purchases lately. I legit don't care what anyone says, these shoes are so freaking comfy. They're definitely big and obnoxious, but I feel like when you kind of pair them with the right pieces, you can really pull off some good looks. One thing I will say about those Nike Air Monarchs though is for any of you guys, if you're interested in like copying them, I suggest actually like going in store and trying them on. The sizing is a little bit weird in my opinion. I'm usually a size nine and a half to 10 in US and I had to cop those in a size eight. And even then it's still a little big on me. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're interested in purchasing them. But yeah, like I said, super good shoes, super affordable, and I don't regret these at all. And I think even after the whole dad shoe trend kind of fades away, I'm gonna definitely still rock these. So yeah. Sticking to shoes, this next one was most definitely a splurge for me. And at first, I was a little hesitant to get them. It is the Adidas Yeezy 500s. Like I said, at first, I was a little hesitant to get them just because I wasn't sure if I could pull them off. But after having them and getting a chance to like wear them and style them, I can honestly say like I 100% love these shoes. They just add that extra finesse to any fit. However, it does definitely take a while getting used to actually wearing the shoes because they are so big and bulky. But after like actually wearing them, I was really surprised by how comfy they actually really are. And I don't know, I feel like in pictures, it doesn't really do the shoe justice. The shoe really does look better in person. I just love these shoes, I'm wearing them right now. And I feel like if more colors or when more colors do come out, I'm definitely gonna try and cop those as well. So yeah. The team over at Stutterheim was kind enough to bless me with one of their infamous raincoats. It kind of sucks though because just as this guy got delivered to me, things started clearing up here in Washington. So I didn't get a chance to wear it just yet. But just from looking at it and like trying it on and feeling it and touching it, I'm so stoked about this guy. You can really tell that the quality is there and just like that tan, almost peanut butter like color is just so sick. It's just kind of like outerwear and raincoats can get a little boring and honestly sometimes ugly so it's nice to not only have a piece that serves an actual purpose but actually looks nice so i'm definitely excited to kind of bust that baby out when things get a little colder here but i just thought i'd mention it quickly in this video since i just recently got it so my cousins from hawaii recently visited and while they were down here we did like a ton of thrift shopping and vintage shopping and in one of the thrift stores i found this gem right here 
It's just this wool like knit slash sweater from Polo Ralph Lauren. You guys are definitely gonna trip out when I tell you how much I got this for. I got this sweater from Polo Ralph Lauren for only $4, which is so crazy. The actual sweater itself does fit a little bit oversized, but as you guys know, I'm kind of into that vibe. And sometimes with things from the thrift, the quality can be trash, but I feel like that specific garment is like the perfect in-between of worn in and still kind of feels brand new. You can definitely tell like the actual garment was loved, but it still feels nice. And I mean, for $4, I guess I can't complain. So coming in next up on the list was that vintage thrifted sweater from Polo Ralph Lauren. Reaching the home stretch here and kind of moving into more accessories and like tech bits, I got this kind of like concrete inspired MacBook case slash cover from Unique Find. I really like things like this because it kind of sets your MacBook apart from everybody else's one. It's just a nice little touch of like customization. And yeah, I've just been really into the whole like concrete, cement, like industrial type of vibes lately. So when I saw this one on their website, I knew I had to have it. Basically just trying to bring like that casual flex, not only into my clothes, but I guess into my electronics as well. Since summer is approaching, I'm definitely just gonna be wearing like a bunch of basic outfits. So I decided to pick up some jewelry to kind of spruce things up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got this circle one right here from, I believe this was from Etsy. And then I have this kind of like square-ish religion inspired one from ASOS. Both of these necklaces were super inexpensive. Like I said, I just kind of feel like they're gonna add that nice subtle touch of finesse to any basic fit. The actual necklaces themselves are still like very simple, but I really do feel like they add a little something to the outfit. Saving the best guy for last, this last item was most definitely a splurge. Well, kind of, there's like a whole story, so just hear me out. It is this beautiful tote bag right here from Want Less Essentials. I hope I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. I've been wanting this bag for the longest time, but it was a little pricey. Like the original price I believe is around like $250 US, but everything about it is just so good. Like the mixed materials with the really nice leather mixed with like this nylon kind of like tech material, which is perfect because as some of you guys know, I live in Washington. So when things kind of start to rain here, the actual bag won't absorb the moisture because the material is kind of like I guess it's like water resistant or something. You guys are gonna see in the cutaways, but it's just a super classic piece that you can wear it in so many different ways too. And the best part is I had a little help actually getting that bag at a really good price from a friend. Not gonna name names because life, but <laughs> shout out to my dude. He really came through with like helping me get that bag. Like I said, it's something I've been wanting for the longest time now. And this bag right here is most definitely by far my favorite item out of this whole entire like video slash haul. So yeah, coming in last is this tote bag from Want Less Essentials or however you say it. <laughs> and that's it for all the stuff that I recently picked up. I feel like I was talking for a hot minute. So if you made it this far, you are a real one. Much love once again to Shop Tiger for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check the description box for links to Shop Tiger, as well as everything mentioned and worn in today's video. Do me a favor and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you guys are the first ones to know when I drop some new content. Follow me on Instagram at srxgs. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So until next time, peace.